All right, so obviously I have a stability problem that we're going to be working on, and I'm going to show a couple different ways that I like to utilize my CLX band to work on my stability as well as my patient's stability. So we're going to put our safety goggles on, make sure we don't end up hurting ourselves with any elastic bands. This is what I like to call an assisted reach back exercise. It's going to look very similar to what you saw Mike do to me in our assessment piece. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use one end loop and put it on the shoulder girdle. So all I'm gonna do is put this up on my arm. If guys have hairy arms, be careful and help them with it, okay? I'm gonna get that as high up on my shoulder as I can so it's nice and comfortable there, all right? And then we're gonna take the band and actually loop it around the body, all right? And then I'm just gonna come up here on the table to show, show you this exercise. You can obviously do it on the floor if you'd like. And I'm gonna get in that same position that we used for the testing and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a fair amount of assistance because obviously I needed a lot of help with that rotation. Now we can back off on the amount of assistance that we use or feedback as we talked about in our 4x4 matrix. But I'm going to go ahead and loop my hand here into the loop so I have a nice strong grip on it. Okay, And then I'm going to reach this out so it's going to give me some assistance. I'm going to go back in that position we were in for our testing. And now this band is actually pulling me into rotation. So I'm actively moving, but the band is helping me. And you can tell I'm getting a lot more motion here than I was when I was actively doing it by myself. So I'll do a couple repetitions here. Okay. Now if I start to feel like that's getting better, I can back off on the amount of assistance. So I'll just kind of go a little bit further out on my band here. And I might do a couple more. Okay, so I've taken the band off and now I'm just gonna recheck that active lumbar locked rotation position. So hand behind, I'm gonna try and rotate. Definitely feeling like I'm turning further. All right, so what happened with that exercise? Remember, in my assessment, it was found that I didn't have a mobility restriction to Despite how limited I looked with that rotation, I actually had a problem with stabilizing or sequencing my muscles. So using that assistance or feedback with the band to help me feel that rotation and guide me through the motion helped retrain my brain to be able to utilize that motion that I have available. I just can't figure out how to use at certain times. So now I have that available motion and we can now move that into some more functional exercises in our three and four positions or our stacked and standing positions as well. So why is this CLX band perfect for this exercise and, and many exercises in particular, or really any elastic resistance, why that's beneficial for this? Well, think about it. If I want to use a dumbbell or a medicine ball to do that exercise, it would pretty much be impossible. So using elastic resist assistance helps me to create different levers, different angles to be able to create those rotational patterns, something that we can't do with different types of resistance. The other nice thing about elastic is I can change the amount of assistance or resistance based on where I'm holding the band and how much tension is on it. And obviously we have different tensions in our bands uh, with the different colors that we have as well.